Sleepless in the Himalayas. After a couple cloudy evening images and yet another night without sleeping? Yeah, that's three in a row now, but who's counting? I can't even blame Greg for snoring. I gotta blame it on the a a a a a altitude. Sorry about that. Still, Sleepless and Narwhal were up before dawn for some stills and super optimistic. Think we're gonna get light this morning, Greg? Uh, yeah. I think you're wrong. But it looks nice now. No need to wait till the morning. I think it's day five on the Annapurna circuit and we have a really cool location just outside of Narwhal. I don't know if that's a real place, but it's where we're staying tonight. And I want to get two shots here, maybe three shots in the morning before we head off hiking. The first shot is a wide angle shot here from like, I don't know, it's almost like a Badland hoodoo up top where we're standing. You've got a river flowing down. You've got a silly airstrip in the middle and then you've got this huge peak above it. That's the first shot. Second shot I want to shoot is I want to run back there because there's a cabin made of stone that could make for an interesting foreground. And then if all goes well and we get some alpine glow, I want to pull out the telephoto and get some shots of just that. I snapped off the first composition, but I'm not going to show it because I left it and came back when the light was better. Instead, let's speed through some time lapse to my next composition. This messy cabin seems so out of place here, and while most people might try to avoid something like this, I've been struggling to find scale for my photos here in the Himalayas. So I've embraced the human element. I've also found an almost iridescently orange bush to put in my foreground. I twist on my polarizer and plop in a grad filter to really make the colors punch. And as a spot of glow kisses the peak, photo one is a success. And with that light still on the peak, I raced back to my first composition. The light disappeared for a moment, and then it came back in a band across the ice. Then, as soon as my exposure was done, the light hid behind some clouds. I didn't get my third photo, but it was a productive morning regardless. So, after pretending to do some more stretching and wishing I'd done some real sleeping, we headed past some friends. Hey, cow. And off downhill, thankfully, to Manang. We just rolled into Manang. Is this thing on? And we're actually here for two nights, acclimatizing and maybe doing some smaller treks up to acclimatize. But this is the end of the road. From here, no more Jeeps, just some more altitude to climb. End of the road. Manang is backpacker HQ here in the Annapurnas. Dozens of epic hikes start here in town. In fact, some people skip the first five days of the hike and opt to just Jeep here. But I'm glad we've done it this way. Even with the slow acclimatization, I'm struggling. I put on a brave face, but the truth is, this beard just hides my pain. This area around Manang is really beautiful. And there's a little lake uh, out that way. And so we're just doing a recce, a little bit of a scouting mission. Sun's rise is definitely better here uh, for the most part just because the sun rises that direction and lights up all the peaks a best case scenario so sunsets are kind of a bit of a challenge so what we're trying to do is we're just yeah scouting out things hoping to find a nice composition that we can then roll out of bed at 5 15 in the morning and wander up to so a little bit of a recce here in manang and just phenomenal phenomenally beautiful place i'll say it again Altitude is the ultimate equalizer, and it has the power to steal all ambition and inspiration. Even here at just 3,300 meters above sea level, surrounded by epic scenes, all I want to do is lay in bed staring at a ceiling. And honestly, if I wasn't surrounded by the support of these other dudes on this hike with me, I probably would have done that. But we explored. Oh, and real talk, please ignore Greg's belly in the scene from the next clip. Success, success. This is how real professionals clean their lenses. 
just come down to a pretty obvious spot, a man-made bridge. And there's a beautifully S-turning river and some prayer flags that show kind of the destination, I guess. And then obviously the glacier and the mountains in the background. Whether we're gonna get weather, whether we're gonna get the right weather tomorrow is another story because it's, it looks like it's coming in. So um, we're gonna w keep walking, keep scouting, maybe go closer to the lake and then pass the lake onto the glacial wash and just see if there's something else there. My boy Max and I pushed on up the glacial wash. And honestly, there's more photos here in this location than I could ever photograph in two days. Even without oxygen deprivation bearing down on me. On camera, I don't mention it. But as I was filming this scene, I got dizzy, nauseous, nearly puked, and then we decided to head back. We basically walked all the way to the face of the glacier and I think there's another location here. Um, you get a little bit too close to everything, so you lose a little bit of the peaks, but there is this beautiful stream coming down with some rapids. I, I definitely think there's a location here. So we do have two sunrises. It might just be a case of shooting one back there and then one up here. So I'm really happy about how this is going, but if I'm being honest, I'm feeling a little bit out of it. I think altitude's catching up. So I'm gonna take it easy the rest of the night. Go that way. Brendan, you're like the goat whisperer. This way? They're going up? Yeah. After helping some goat herders move their flock into town and helping a young boy pass his driver's test, you're stuck on this speed bump. I'll get you, I'll get you. I got you, bro. Ready? Vroom, 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 vroom. There you go. Enjoy your day. I tried to do something else I haven't done in a couple days besides sleep. Shower. But as I was enjoying a beautiful steam shower under icy air, I heard Greg scream, dude, Epic light, epic light! He wasn't wrong. And luckily our hotel had a rooftop to capture it all from. and then 10 sleepless hours later, we headed out again. So we're here in front of Gunnapurna. The peak is already glowing. It's 15 minutes until sunrise and it's already glowing. The peaks here are just so big that they catch light way before anything else. We're hoping for a little bit of that pink glow you get right at sunrise. Um, and it's looking promising because there is a lot of glow happening already so early. So um, we're set up here on the bridge. Yeah, it's a little bit shaky, so we're trying not to move too much while exposing photos. And we're just kind of trying to use this river as a leading line up to the peaks. But it is a bit of a mission. You go too far on the bridge to the right, and it's unbalanced. You go far, too far on the left, and it just doesn't lead properly. So. Just trying to find that sweet spot on the bridge to get the right image. And uh, now I think I got it. It's just a matter of waiting for the right light. Now before you drop a message in the comment section saying, dude, you really need to sleep. You know what? I'm trying. But at altitude, sometimes sleep just doesn't happen. Rest, maybe. But sleep can be elusive. Okay, now go ahead and comment that. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button while you're at it. Though my buddy Flo doesn't seem excited by the light, actually, he's just German and that's their excited face. We did get some Alpine glow, but these mountains are so high that the light hitting them is so bright in comparison to everything else still in the shadows that it makes for a tough exposure. You know, unless you're not so oxygen deprived to think to bracket exposures.
As you can see, the sun is baking me right now. It feels so good. It was cold this morning. Uh, it didn't get any clouds, but with Alpen Glow like we got, it doesn't really matter. It was really, really beautiful and a cool location. I need to rest today because honestly, altitude has been, uh, I've been feeling it. Definitely yesterday I've been feeling it. So I think I'm gonna rest most of the day and then maybe climb up one of these things to do some acclimatization in the afternoon. So tomorrow we're back at trekking. Today is kind of a rest acclimatization day. A lot of the group hiked way up there, above 4,000 meters to a monastery to get a, a bit of acclimatization. I decided to let uh, my bones and muscles relax a little bit this afternoon, AKA lay in bed, watch Netflix and eat Snickers bars. Um, but now we're up and hiking above town. Um, the topographic map said something like 37 or 3,800 30 3, meters above sea level. So. Getting a little bit of acclimatization, and then tomorrow we're trekking the trail all the way along there towards those giant mountains back that way. Tomorrow we're at like 4,300 meters stupid or something like that. So yeah, a little bit of acclimatization and maybe a photo. No need for slow-mo at this altitude, eh? <sighs> Up here, all types of footage are slow. Movements happen in jello. It's like moving underwater. Simple tasks like opening your tripod leave you short of breath and promising yourself you'll get into better shape when you get back home. Okay, so uh, the top <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. Okay, so we were at the top. We've been hanging out for like 45 minutes and the goal of this mission wasn't necessarily to get a photo, but we were hoping it would happen. But the clouds aren't doing what we wanted them to. There's a really beautiful scene this way, but just no cloud on it and it's a little bit harsh. It does look like we're gonna get like a really nice sunset potentially, but we also don't wanna get caught up here after dark. So um, despite the fact the light might go off, we're heading down. So yeah, I think I might just call this video here. We got some high altitudes coming up and I think probably some, some long days. So um, yeah, we're gonna get some rest and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.